Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you today and uh, spend time with you uh, on a daily basis in the Word of God in prayer this week. Uh, we're going to uh, journey through Scripture to learn about spirit-filled living. You know, now this whole phrase spirit-filled um, is sometimes very is sometimes used very loosely. Uh, people use it in, in different contexts or to reference different uh, mannerisms which they think are expressions of a life, uh, the, the, of a spiritual life. But what we want to do this week is uh, little by little examine what the scriptures say to us concerning spirit-filled living. What does it really mean to live uh, uh, as people who are filled with the Holy Spirit? And we're going to touch on different aspects of spirit-filled living. Now, we find important scripture texts uh, in Romans chapter 8, uh, verses 1 through 14. We find Galatians 5, verses 16 to uh, 24, 25, 26. And also in Ephesians 5, we find, um, uh, verses 18 to 21. These are three most major passages that teach us about spirit-filled living or walking in the spirit and we want to just highlight some of the important things we see uh, in these passages during the course of this week so today i want to bring our attention to the fact that to live spirit filled first of all means that we are spiritually minded people and Paul brings this out for us in Romans chapter 8. He says in verses 5 through 8, he says, For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Remember, Romans is written to believers. He's not talking to the unbelievers. He's talking to believers and he's saying, you know, believers can either live spiritually minded or carnally minded. Uh, a, a, a carnally minded believer is going to end up walking in the flesh and is not, that is not pleasing to God. Um, and that is going to result in death, things that just degrade uh, his life. But a spiritually minded believer is going to set their mind on things of the Spirit, things that please the Spirit. They're going to pursue the purpose and will of the Holy Spirit. And uh, they are spiritually minded and so they are pleasing God and they are therefore moving, journeying in what is life and peace. Because what is of the flesh cannot please God on what Paul, Paul writes. So first and foremost, Spiritual living means I'm spiritually minded, which means I set my thoughts, my minds, my affections on the things that please God, that please the Holy Spirit. Now, we all go through life, everyday circumstances of life. But in the middle of all of those things, we are thinking, what pleases God? What glorifies God? How, what represents God? What expresses God? And we pursue those things. We are being spiritually minded. And that is key to living Spirit filled. Let's pray. Lord, we ask that you help us live spirit filled lives, lives that glorify you and honor you and please you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.